So a few quick tips on how to move awkward loads like a pile of logs that we've got here and how to do it in a way that is safe for your spine. So most people would do this kind of thing where there's a lot of lifting and twisting and what that does it actually imbalances my pelvis slightly because I've got one side that's having to support me the other side that's having to twist and rotate um, and if you're anything like me and you already suffer with a, a bit of a niggle on one side that's likely to aggravate it when you then couple in that we're bending forwards from the knees that can really stress the lower back as well so what you really want to do is bend the knees and think about shifting your weight through your knees instead of twisting through the lower back. It's not because the lower back, it's dangerous to twist our lower back in any way, but this way you can cope with doing an activity that you maybe don't do a lot of without aggravating your back. And it's normally doing a completely different activity to what you would normally do that does aggravate your back. So what I'm going to do is think about where I'm moving the logs to, making sure that I've got a nice stable base so I'm not positioned on the logs here, I've got my feet flat on the ground. I'm then going to pick up the logs and I'm going to shift my weight over onto the other side. So instead of picking up and twisting like that, I'm going to pick the log up and I'm going to shift my weight over onto the other side. So I'm moving side to side like this and stacking the logs as I go. So really using my knees, using my gluteal muscles, so the big strong muscles in your bum, and you're getting them to do the work instead of your back so instead of that twist you get your knees and your glutes to do the work instead and hopefully do a slightly better job of stacking the logs than i have there so it's really about shifting your weight through your knees and moving around like that as you do and that's a really good way to safely take care of your back when you're doing an activity like this